okay let us discuss this problem uh, i am really happy because the if you see the fonts font and color of this video is really nice i'm just experimenting with the uh, camera and i found this kind of effect i can do with my camera so really i am very much happy so this automatically changes the quality of video you see what is the good quality oh my god i am just fall in love with this video okay let us go for this problem now now let us see i have this molecule uh, what is the size of pen i think pen will also be look like a whiter that's good okay so i have this molecule this contains double bond and there is a carbonyl group there is a triple bond ch2 ch2 and now from this compound how can i prepare this compound so this is a question of preparation how will i prepare this compound let me cover the solution now you have to tell me how i can prepare this compound from this compound you see what are the changes that is taking place if you see this side there is no change here no change again oh okay my god i have to put one double bond here so basically in original question there is double bond so here double bond here double bond no change here triple bond now here i have double bond so i have to reduce the triple bond to double bond so what i have to do i have to reduce a triple bond so what kind of reagent i use <coughs> so there are two kind of reagent that can be used either you can use linder catalyst or you can use na nh2 in ammonia liquid ammonia now this is a cis addition both hydrogen is added of same side so this is just cis so now you can tell me what what should the reagent i should take do you remember okay good so i can take uh, lindler catalyst pdbso4 everybody knows so this is a i can take pdbso4 in the presence of h2 this is called lindler catalyst or poison catalyst bso4 is using is acting like a poison so this is acting like a poison so son similarly in this case there is another catalyst that is called p2 catalyst i can also use p2 catalyst this is nickel boride and hydrogen this becomes nickel if you treat nickel with boron once again nickel becomes a poison so in this case boron is poisoning the nickel you see in this case bso4 is poisoning the platinum in this case boron is poisoning the nickel so again this is again acting as a uh, cis addition only and this will be milder so it will only reduce alkyne to alkene so this in this case boron acts as poisoning agent that is poison now let us go for the next problem so this is a pretty easy problem now you have to tell me what will be the product you have to tell me the stereochemistry if i add oso4 and in the next step and hso3 h2o so what is this reagent osmium tetraol oxide and sodium bisulfide in the presence of h2o if you remember this reaction will add two oh group on this carbon you will have one oh group on this carbon you will add one oh group did you remember now if you add two oh group and both oh group will be added sin so what will be the product so let me check how many of you are able to write so take two minute time so you saw the perspective drawing if you are interested you can also show the uh, feature projection formula any kind of formula you saw just me okay let us go for the solution so you see what will happen either you can add two OH group from top this is one possibility so if I add both OH group from the top this ME that is the back side I can put ME back side this hydrogen that is front side I can put hydrogen front side this hydrogen front side I can put it front side this is back side so let us put it back side now these two OH are on the top so this is the first now you can also add both OH from the bottom so if I do something like this now this CH3 will go slightly up so you see here this CH3 will go slightly up this ET will go slightly up H will go slightly up and this H will go also slightly up but this is downside this is upside so that is the this is behind the plane this is the far, forward of the plane so if you do this you can add OH OH here and just lift these groups so that you will have something like this now again so this is addition is a sin addition 
and you see one and two are basically in answer to each other so what we have done if this is if I am adding from top this group is going down so this and if I am adding from bottom this group is going upside so this means configuration of reverse so this carbon and this carbon has reversed in configuration similarly this carbon and this carbon has reverse in configuration so if they reverse in configuration this means they are both carbons are reverses its configuration this means these are basically enhanced humor now tell me what will the product in this case now this time you have trans this time you have cis both hydrogen on the same side now this time you have hydrogen opposite side so this is the trans once again addition will be seen and you can add from bottom you can add from top so if you add from bottom you will have something like this since there is no plane of symmetry so there is no question of meso if you add from top you will get this once again there is no question of symmetry because no these groups here I have ET group H group OH group here I have H group ME group OH group so carbon does not have same group so there is no point of symmetry so once again I will get the enhanced humor so 2 and 4, 3 and 4 are also enhanced humor to each other so you see in this case either you add on cis or you add on the trans in both cases you will get the racemic mixture but we, if you remember we said in the class if you add on cis to butene addition is cis then you will have a meso product but now this time that is because if you see cis to butene C double bond H H ME here you have ME here you have the groups attached on this carbon and groups attached on this carbon are same and that's why there is a possibility of meso but in this case groups attached on this are not same so there is no possibility of meso are you getting or not so let us copy this one and then we'll go for the next problem this is the extension of the same problem we have in the next problem so you see if you have a double bond and you have OSO4 or KMNO4 addition will be basically same and if there is no symmetry no plane of symmetry in that case you will get basically a uh, racemic mixer there is no point of uh, meso product either you do cis either you to take cis or you take trans in both cases you will get the racemic mixer let us do the same thing I can take now what we have done we have taken compound as a cis and addition is cis compound as cis addition is cis compound is trans addition is trans so we have discussed the case so this is cis addition is cis we have also discussed this is trans and addition is cis now we will discuss another case in which compound will be cis or trans but addition will be trans so let us discuss this question so let us write the product yourself what will be the product in this case so what will be the product if you react with bromine ccl4 you write on the product quite easy one and you same thing if you take cis and one time you take trans so this is trans add br2 and again if you take the cis of the same compound add and give me the final four answer i will wait for one minute okay let us go for the solution so if you see in this case addition will be anti so you have two possibility either you can add from bromine this side and another bromine from this side or you can add one bromine from this side another bromine from this side so let us do this if you add one bromine from top this bromine from bottom so this addition is anti everybody knows addition of bromine is anti so if you add from this side another this side so what will happen this ME will go slightly down, this hydrogen will go down because ME is back side, so this ME goes down hydrogen go down, if here you will have hydrogen go up, ET will also go up, but hydrogen is back side, so it will go up back side it will go up front side 
now you have another possibility this child bromine is down and this child bromine is up you will get this compound I think you are able to understand so easy now these two compounds one and two basically are enantiomer to each other why because you see in this case you are adding from bromine from top bromine from bottom everything is same configuration has reversed one is oriented down another is oriented up so if you see this group this group this group oriented up if you see this group this group this group oriented down so configuration is basically inversion of configuration at this carbon and this carbon so if it is r then it will become s here also if this is r then it will become s so at both carbon there is inversion of configuration so this has to means that they will be enantiomer to each other so i am getting a enantiomeric mixture you see if i have initially trans that is optically inactive my final solution is also optically inactive because i am getting enantiomeric mixture and i have already said in addition reactions if we have a product is initial reactant and a reagent is optically inactive product product has to be optically inactive so you see this is optically inactive bromine is optically inactive so final product final solution has to be optically inactive that i have to get the racemic mixture now the last one if you take transis of this compound so this is cis i have double bond eth meh add bromine water a uh, bromine in ccl4 so everybody can do this problem i will wait for 30 seconds and i know everybody of you can do this problem so let us give me the answer i am really happy to see this format of video this time so this is really beautiful i can't imagine such a good such a good uh, video basically and now i will only apply this kind of format this is a good even i cannot see what the color of the pen if you see the my pen color is black but now here i see the white even if i use the pen color red now i will see white and it's easy to see white uh, if the background is dark something is white that's nice earlier i heard that if you have a background is yellow and font is black that gives a very good effect on the eye that's i tried basically my paper that i'm using this is uh, yellow and the pen i am using that is black <coughs> okay let us go for the problem so if you add bromine now you have two option either you add from top another bottom so you will get this compound if you add another one from bottom so this is top from bottom you will get this compound again these two are basically enantiomer to each other 3 and 4 are enantiomer to each other you just copy this one and then we will go for the next problem this is quite easy problem basically so this problem is related to addition of symmetrical reagent on alkene bromine is a symmetrical reagent you are adding br plus br minus and addition can be seen or anti what will happen if the addition is seen what will happen if the addition is anti so we have seen in both cases if the alkene is not symmetrical that is this alkene is not symmetrical of course this side we have et this side meh so this alkene is not symmetrical so in this case the product will never be meso always be racemic mixture so you see if the alkene is not symmetrical product b never be meso it always be racemic mixture we'll go for the next problem 